One of the great things about most Manhattan neighborhoods is the history, and Soho is no exception. Soho stands for South of Houston. Soho is bordered by Houston, and in the south, Canal Street, Lafayette on the east, and Varick Street on the west. Soho started the neighborhood descriptions in Manhattan like Tribeca and Dumbo. Before Soho became Soho, it was known as the Cast Iron District. Soho, as it's known, almost wasn't. In the 1960s, almost Bill was the Lower Manhattan Expressway. Had that happened, there would have been an expressway connecting the Holland Tunnel on the west to the Williamsburg Bridge on the east. Gone would have been all the shops and historically beautiful cast iron buildings. Soho has had many transformations, like Manhattan neighborhoods. Known for its historic cast iron buildings, these buildings were once the heart of the manufacturing and commerce in Manhattan. After the decline of the manufacturing industry, artists moved in, attracted to the grand loft spaces with huge windows that allowed natural light conducive to their work. This started the gentrification of Soho, making it one of the most desirable neighborhoods in all of Manhattan, and the priciest. In fact, the gentrification of Soho is widely known as the Soho Effect. Cities across America followed this trend as well. Soho is one of the most expensive real estate areas in New York City. It's centrally located. In fact, it's one of the best locations in the city. All subways from east to west hit Soho. Soho will probably remain one of the most fashionable areas in New York City for years to come. It's hard to think what this area could have been, nothing but an expressway. Go figure.